Good morning, I'm Brooke Hafes with NBC 26 and this is your morning news update. Three area school districts are rethinking their strategy after their multi-million dollar tax referendums did not pass the election. The money would have gone towards renovating schools. The Nina Joint School District has a backup plan to use a $600,000 safety grant to fund some projects. But they'll need more money to renovate Shattuck Middle School. The superintendent says they'll go back to work on a new referendum for the 2020 ballot. This morning, Supreme Court candidate Lisa Neubauer is not conceding. Uh, the totals from Tuesday's election show Brian Hagedorn has a 6,000 vote lead over Neubauer. Hagedorn is claiming victory so far. Neubauer hasn't said if she'll ask for a recount. Counties must complete canvassing to finalize results in the next 10 days. After that's done, Neubauer has three more days to make a decision on whether to request a recount. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish, and today most of the day should be dry, but you're going to notice it's going to be cooler and that wind's going to pick up. Now, our southern counties, maybe a stray shower late in the afternoon, but a better chance for the rest of us is the night goes on and even a couple of snow showers, especially the farther north you live, could bring you a little light accumulation by the morning. But as we go into tomorrow morning, most of that activity going to be moving on out. Actually, tomorrow gets a little bit better. 43 though today, that's all we get. And if you live by Lake Michigan, going to be even cooler, kind of raw there with the winds picking up. For tonight, this wintry mix developing of a couple light showers, maybe some freezing drizzle or a shower or snow shower off to the north. And then for tomorrow, 52 degrees, breaks of afternoon sun after possibly an isolated morning rain shower. Now I'm going with the pick day of the weekend on Saturday and 60, slight chance of rain, much better chance of rain on Sunday afternoon, 57, not cooling it down too much after that. Now stay connected all day every day at NBC26.com or you can download the app in the App Store.